okay, let's look at uh, another kingdom in the Middle East here. This is the Israelites. They lived in what we refer to as Canaan here. Okay, uh, they had a covenant with God. God promising them, I will make you a great nation. Yes, the Israelites, we're talking about the folks, uh, Moses here, leading them away from Egypt. Okay, God had Egypt earlier. Now we have the Israelites escaping from Egypt. Okay, they are monotheistic. They believe in one God. Um, there's some debate about if they're the first religion to be monotheistic, them versus the Zoroastrians. Although some folks say, hey, the Zoroastrians were polytheistic and became monotheistic. The Hebrews, for the whole time, monotheistic, one God. Okay, Diaspora, this is the scattering of the Jews. As they come in, um, the Egyptians and other people who scatter them out of their kingdom, and we don't end up with a modern uh, Israel until after World War II. Okay. Another group in the area, the Syrians, uh, at various time periods, these guys had a powerful, powerful army of foot soldiers. They also had charioteers and a cavalry. This is guys on horseback. Uh, another uh, group we want to talk about is the Chaldeans. Okay, they take over after the Assyrians, and the Assyrians actually, you know, had to fight and and were be fought off. Uh, by various pharaohs in Egypt, okay? The Chaldeans take over. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar builds the Hanging Gardens in Babylon in what is today, excuse me, down here, Babylon, uh, near what is today modern Baghdad. One of the great wonders of the world, okay? Hittites, another uh, early civilization. This is their kingdom we see here. Moving up from the Tigris and Euphrates, moving up and north from uh, the Israelites, uh, went to what is today modern Turkey, okay? They conquered other kingdoms in the Middle East. They borrow from the Mesopotamians. They borrow from the Egyptians. These are the guys who develop a law code, a guy named Hammurabi. Let me explain this, okay? Most people can't read and write, but he puts a big pillar in the middle of the, the big town there with all the laws inscribed upon it. No one can read it, so what's the significance? The significance is this, okay? The laws are there for everyone. You can't read it, but you could probably find a scribe or someone who could read it to you. Okay? The laws are now paramount, not the king, not Hammurabi. He's actually made himself under the law. He has to follow the law. He can't just make up any law he wants. Moving on, another group is the Persians, and this is the Persian Empire, and we're introducing them because as we get into uh, true Western civilization and start talking with the ancient Greeks, these are the folks that they're going to be fighting with a lot, okay? They're over here in what is today modern-day uh, Iran. Uh, they do not speak Arabic. They speak Farsi, uh, Persian, if you will, okay? They are a large trading empire, and they use roads to move around, okay? they got great leaders like Cyrus and Darius I, who will come in conflict with, as we mentioned down here, the ancient Greeks, okay? Now, this idea of great roads is going to be copied by later civilizations, primarily the Romans, uh, and then a guy uh, in Germany is going to copy that and build his autobahns. That's Hitler, sorry. Uh, and then a uh, allied general is going to copy that idea when he becomes president in the United States, and we have our interstate system. Look, I just connected the ancient Persians to Highway 30, Interstate 39. Okay, Phoenicians, okay, another civilization for them. These guys are famous for because they introduced the idea of an alphabet. They were a trading empire throughout the Mediterranean Sea, sailing their ships, but their alphabet is a simplistic alphabet. As opposed to learning thousands of characters, they had only 22. Wait, Mr. Pulley, we have 26. Okay, they didn't use vowels. You had to imply where the vowel was, knowing what the word was supposed to be. Okay, it makes it much simpler to teach people to read and write. Uh, most people are just doing stuff for simple record keeping. But we're also, to make our trade easier, we're introducing bills and contracts. Okay, you will buy this much at this price when we deliver it. Okay, that makes trade better. Okay. To make trade even better, rather than bargaining or bartering between what is the price, how many sheep for this cow, uh, how many cow for all that lumber, hey, the Lydians introduced the concept of coins, coined money. It's more efficient than bartering. Anything that's more efficient means it takes less time. Less time means we save money because time is money. 